Here are two ways to create a search function where the data you're looking up is in two different tabs. On the bottom, we have data one and data two. And these tabs contain the different data that we wanna look up in our search tab. But for the search function to work, we need to have everything in one list. So the first and easiest way to do this is to use VStack to join the two ranges together. So we'll type equals VStack in a new tab called full data. And then we'll select the data from the first tab, put a comma, and select the data from the second tab. And once I press enter in our full data tab, everything is stacked nice and neatly on top of each other. And this is perfect if your data doesn't change, but if your data does change, we'll need to keep going. As you can see, I adjusted the formula. So now it goes from column A2 all the way down to the end of column D on each tab. And now we have a whole bunch of blanks underneath the data. And we don't want that. So between equals and VStack, I'm gonna put filter. I'll copy that VStack formula, put a comma, paste that VStack formula, and filter can only work for one column. So I'm gonna change the D to A. Now I wanna filter out any time column A is blank. So I'm gonna put not equals to quote, quote. So now that we're filtering out all of the rows that have a blank in column A, it's nice and neat, just like it was before. So now that we have a single list, we're able to build our search function. So I'm gonna to go to the filter and search tab. And then right underneath where I want the results to be, I'll put equals filter, open parentheses. I'm gonna select A2 all the way through the end of column D. And after a comma, I'm gonna type the word search and choose the search function. We'll go back to the filter and search tab and select cell A3, which will be our search criteria. And then back to the full data tab and select cells A2 all the way through the end of column A. And our formula is complete. So we can type anything into cell A3. And if the company name has those letters anywhere in it, it will show up in the filtered results below. So that's the first way and the easiest way. But if you don't want to create a full data tab, there's another way to do it. So I'm gonna to go to the full data tab and copy the formula that we just made. So I'll have to type it out again, because we will need that formula. But obviously if you're making it from scratch, you'll do it the same way. Now in our filter formula in the filter and search tab, instead of pointing to full data, we're gonna paste that formula instead. And then in the search formula, instead of pointing to the full data range, we're gonna paste that again. And just like last time, we need to change the Ds to A2 colon A on both. And that's because it can only filter based off of one column. And now our updated search function is complete. So we can go to cell A3 and type in any sequence of letters. And if it shows up in the company name, it will be there in the list. And since we're not using that full data tab, we can go ahead and delete it. And as you can see, everything works just the same. Now, since this is a bit of a complex formula, I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit easier to read. So as a whole, this is a filter and a search function together, just like you've seen in my previous videos. But the range itself is a combination of a filter and a VStack formula, which is combining the ranges, but excluding anything that's blank. And for the search portion, we're searching the contents of cell A3 from the column A of that range that we just combined. So that's two ways to create a search function when the data is in multiple tabs. And if you like this video, follow Sheets by Olin for more.